In this video, I'm talking about game theory and economic modeling, and the particular example from this video is going to be the oligopoly example. Now, in doing this, I'm going to have generic models. There's not going to be functional forms. I have other videos with actual functional forms. Here, my main goal is to show you um, the relationship between game theory and economic modeling and how that plays out. So, um, specifically, I'm going to build some models. Now, if I were doing this in class, I would actually ask students, what would you like the choice variables for these firms to be? Should they be choosing price? Should they be choosing quantity? Should they be choosing advertising or investment in research and development? There's lots of different things the firm could choose. Now, to keep it simple for, for this video, I'm just going to let each firm choose the quantity that they are going to produce. That's the simplest form of an oligopoly model. I will also keep the objective function simple by letting our profit just be revenue minus cost. I'm going to leave a little bit of room here because revenue depends not only on how many we produce, but also on how many the other player in the market produces. And of course, this is an oligopoly with only two firms. So revenue depends both on our quantity and also on the other firm's quantity. And I need to add an S subscript of one because the revenue here is revenue to firm one. In which case, I'm just going to redo this equation down here, flipping the ones and the twos. Okay, so we've got the costs also are might be different between the firms, so this is cost to firm two, de which depends on the quantity that firm two produces. Revenue of firm two depends on uh, quantity that firm one and firm two produce. Okay, that's the setup, but what about the game theory? How does game theory play a role? And there's basically going to be two features of game theory in economic modeling. One is that the choice variable in one person's model is going to matter somehow. It's going to actually be endogenous, but it's not endogenous yet in the other player's model. And same down here, choice variable for firm two, it matters for firm one. And because of that, we're going to end up with best response functions when we solve these models. So let's actually do this by taking the first order conditions of this optimization problem, and that means there's a lot of work, yada, 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 to give us the optimal choice of how much firm one should produce. Now, that's going to be a function of the quantity that firm two produces. Now, I'm going to stop there for now, but this is not the end of the story. So we come down here, we do the same thing down here by taking the first order conditions, solving for optimal choice of quantity for firm two as a function of the quantity that firm one produces. Now you notice something interesting here, which is firm one's choice is a function of firm two's choice. Firm two's choice is a function of firm one's choice. And so these are actually going to be best response functions. Now the, we, the other thing we could do here is we could say because they're best response functions, the optimal quantity for firm one depends on the quantity for firm two, which also depends on the quantity that firm one chooses, because we've already shown quantity firm two chooses depends on firm one. So I could add this extra layer in here. And, and that seems kind of counterintuitive, but what it means is both firms are, are creating a best response to each other. And that's Nash equilibrium, when you can say, yes, this is my best response, given their best response, and they can say, yes, this is my best response, given your best response. When they can say that back and forth, that's Nash equilibrium, that's how game theory appears in an economic model. So two, two features to look for when you're thinking about uh, game theory and economic modeling, each player's choice variable is going to appear in the other player's objective function. Q1 appears down here, Q2 appears up here. And as a result of that, the optimal choice for each player depends on the other player's optimal choice, which in turn depends on one's own optimal choice. And that's just, that's how game theory shows up when you're building economic models. 